Hi guys, it's Vadim again with Car Simulators and today we're gonna talk about something very very big. You know the phrase discovering plutonium by accident? So th there is no accident here, there is plutonium, go take it. What this, this particular simulator can do is something that is very fundamental to self-driving. In a nutshell, this simula simulator can give you semantically segmented images. And I know this sounds like a bit of a funny concept for those that are not familiar, but what is self-driving? Um, it's essentially two parts. One is computer vision, and the second one is decision-making based on that vision. So the whole computer vision is what I'm talking about here. The simulators give you the biggest cheat in it. It can give you images that um, effectively allocate every, every single pixel in the image to a particular subject. Like it could be the road, it could be the pedestrian, it could be the other cars, it could be the sky, it could be lane markings, traffic lights, you name it. Isn't that great? Because it saves a human being or a team of uh, human beings that used to work at Tesla doing this. And uh, can you imagine the money spent on those? And the simulators give this to you automatically. Now, let's just see what it is. The, calendar, um, the camera on the left is the image that is normal, a normal image coming from the simulator. And then the coolest trick is it, it can give you this image on the right, which is exact replica of um, this, the, the, the same image. However, it labels everything with a particular color very, very thoroughly. So there is no different shades of that color. Like you can see the road is this purple uh, or maroon, whatever color you call it. Lane markings is yellow. There is a curb that is pink and generally that's like sidewalks and stuff like that. The car you can see on the left is um, blue. Pedestrians are red and I hope you get it. This is really, really significant. So you with just the computer can produce thousands of these images in different weather conditions, in different time of days, in different traffic, at different points in the road, and use those images to train your models. Now, the big question mark, of course, is, okay, how do we uh, know that this can be transitioned to reality? And before I start using these semantic images, I need to run the test. I need to see how well this can be transitioned to the reality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to train the model using these pairs of images that you can see generation of in front of you. And I'm going to try to apply that more model to a real footage from, say, a Tesla, and then see what uh, the model will make of the objects on the road. And that would be my next project. But I think um, I'm like flabbergasted with the, this functionality, and I hope I uh, explain it well to you. This is big. This is like... Uh, such an unlimited free resource that you can use from simulators and it's, it could be considered the, one of their biggest advantages. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next video where we'll see the results of that model. Thanks. Bye.